In this module, we will examine how differences in annual patterns of temperature and precipitation help determine the distribution of terrestrial plants and animals that live in each region and how scientists categorize these regions. These differences in patterns of precipitation and temperature have major impacts on the distribution of natural resources, including the use of biomes for grazing animals, crop growing and harvesting lumber. We will examine how the boundaries of terrestrial biomes have changed in the past and will continue to change in the future. First of all, let's take a look at exactly what a biome is. A biome is the plants and animals that are found in a particular region in the world. Annual patterns of temperature and precipitation represent a region's climate, which is the average weather that occurs in a given region over a long period of time, typically over several decades. We can contrast this with weather which is the short-term conditions of the atmosphere in the local area. For example, temperature, humidity, clouds, precipitation, wind speed. In categorizing terrestrial biomes, we focus on how different climates affect the distribution of plants and animals, not the weather. Scientists have long been interested in how species have adapted to face their difficult environments. For example, if we examine the plants from all the deserts in the world, we would find many cactus-like species. Plants that look like cacti in North America deserts are indeed members of the cactus family. But those found in the Kalahari Desert are members of the Euphorbia family. These are two distantly related families of plants that look similar because they have evolved similar adaptations to hot, dry environments, including the ability to store large amounts of water in their tissues and they have waxy coatings to stop water loss. But they are in fact different species, different families of plants. Despite these common adaptations to desert conditions, these two plant families have distinctive flowers and spines and only the Euphorbia family produces a milky sap. These differences help to confirm that while these two groups may look similar, genetically they are not closely related. Instead, exposure to similar selective pressures over a long period of time has favored the evolution of many similar adaptations. As a result, scientists can categorize terrestrial regions of the world into terrestrial biomes, which are geographic regions of land categorized by a particular combination of average temperature and precipitation, and distinctive plant growth forms that are adapted to the climate. In this graph, we can see the range of terrestrial biomes on Earth in the context of precipitation and temperature. For example, tundra and tigra biomes have an average annual temperature of below 5 degrees centigrade, whereas temperate biomes have an average annual temperature of between 5 degrees and 20 degrees centigrade, and tropical biomes have an average temperature above 20 degrees centigrade. Within each of these temperature ranges, we can observe a wide range of precipitation shown in the distribution of these biomes around the world. Note that not all terrestrial biomes are categorized by plant growth forms that animal species living in different biomes are often quite distinctive as well. For example, rodents inhabiting deserts around the world have a number of adaptations for hot, dry climates, including high efficiency kidneys that allow very little water to be lost during urination. For plants and animals, biomes refer to the large geographical area that they call home. In contrast, a habitat is the area in which a particular species lives in nature. A habitat is a subset of a biome. For example, the forests of the northeastern United States represent a biome, but this biome contains multiple terrestrial habitats including agricultural fields, abandoned fields, young forests with sapling trees, and mature forests. Just to go over this one more time, because it's so important for your exam, you need to know the difference between a habitat and a biome. A biome is a collection of many habitats, all sharing similar characteristics of temperature and precipitation whereas a habitat is a very specific location and it could be very small indeed, depending on what scale you're looking at. I hope you found this useful and for even more tips, go on to the next lesson where we're gonna take a look at climate diagrams and how we can understand them. If you found this lesson useful, head on over to classroomnation.com and enjoy the full AP course. This AP course has quizzes to help you cement your knowledge. It has notes to help you better understand. And most importantly, there are no adverts like on YouTube, so it can save you a little bit of time. It's a much more comprehensive package. 
Go ahead, check it out for yourself over at classroomnation.com. The link is in the description below. And whilst in this early access, it is completely free. So really, there is no excuse to go and try.